I went to this like one night out and a bunch of kids just got their Goldman Sachs offers for investment banking. And I look at the table and I knew 10 of the like 16 people that got the offers. And I'm like, well, all of your dads are partners or what? And it's like part of life, but also all these people are really effing smart. And like, we are very lucky. And like, we all recognize that, you know, we all start in different places, but there are some people that have everything given to them and they end up in rehab. They end up in, and I always say to my core, I'm always a hard worker. I am always like, my dad would joke that I like pay rent in the library. Like that's not because of mom or dad. That's just like me and my essence. And everyone gets there in different ways. And you could be given all the resources in the world and you still F up. So I think it's just kind of like, I recognize it. I'm not not grateful, but I also am not saying like, well, you can't do it too, because then your, you know, your mindset is everything. I've been on this like manifestation energy woo woo journey as well. Like, you know, so it's all kind of, it all works together. Like your vibe and how you perceive everything. Like, you know, Jolie and I, we've written down certain goals and they've already happened. Like we are so confident in our bones that like we're going to take over and disrupt it's like not even a question and yes I'm self-aware I know that like because of my mom I have a leg up but I also have been on tv for almost 15 years and I've never really leveraged it for anything in my life so if I'm gonna start when we're going out down for the count I'm gonna about to do it to do a business like why not you would everyone would and I haven't done it in 15 years so let me have my moment my moment I agree with all of that. I mean, I make the rehab comparison all, I say that all the time. It's true. There are people with millions and millions and millions and billions of dollars and you look at their children and they're fuck ups, right? So, I mean, you can't say that. And then you look at a lot of people that come from absolutely nothing that just have it within them to study, go to college, and they just have that success gene in them. I I, I really believe that. That's me. Totally agree with that also. And I can also just like attest like to uh, like being Avery's best friend, like knowing her super well, like Avery has never, ever like ridden on Ramona's coattails, like ever, like, you know, she does not take advantage of the Bravo community. She does not take advantage of fame or intros or anything her entire life. Um, And now anything that she's, leveraging is for the purpose of the business, you know? And I think that's respectable. Um, I think like there are other people and we won't name drop that don't do that. Um, but I think that Avery is a really like respectful, um, and mature person. And I think that now our business is, you know, blowing up and becoming super successful. Um, not just from, you know, her connections, but it's, it's like she said, it's hard work. It's, it's us like, you know, boots on the ground, doing it ourselves. Who would you like to not mention? Is that a reference to another housewife from New York's child? I mean, there's so many, I'll take it. There's so many, I'm like, come on. There's so many Bravo kids that ride their mom's coattails that are like a wannabe Kylie Jenner, duck faces, posting. And like, sure, I've done maybe a couple here or there. I do not post inappropriate pick like that's not me and I have taken a back seat from the show for an extremely long time because I worked at Morgan Stanley Newberger Berman was at Cameo like most of my finance career I couldn't get jobs because of me being associated with the team like people think that like oh you're lucky like no are you kidding me like I am always the girl that's like her mom's on reality tv like she must suck like she's like no you don't know me you don't know my life Like, it's really freaking tough. And Jolie and I, like, we always kind of like laugh about it because I'm so, and my mom too, my mom doesn't get social media, which is kind of good for her. Like when the show started, there was no, what, there was one season of the Kardashians. There was no Instagram. Maybe Amazon just came out. Like, it was not like this. Like now you go on TV and you're going for like a selfish purpose of like followers, promoting a business, we, it was supposed to be called Manhattan Moms. There was no franchise. And people like really need to remember that. 
And I've always tried to like do my own path and my own thing. And my mom is my mom. I own, like, I don't watch Bravo, period. I've never seen a lot of shows. I'm really happy for everyone and appreciate the community. And I've now got to see some of it firsthand in person meeting fans. And like, they're all so invested and incredible. And I never got to really see it. Um, But it, it's also just one of those things where I, everyone uses parents or their families in different ways and is it are you being genuine like are you actually trying to study hard and like be a person like at least now I can say I worked really hard I went to University of Virginia I worked at Morgan Stanley like I pivoted to tech I'm now starting a company and I did most of that by myself and now sure 15 years later I am going to fully leverage something because I've never asked or you know I feel like you asked for a favor once and like this is my favor moment I, I love it. Really passionate. Really no, passionate. I, I, I totally agree. I mean, look, it's, it is what it is. Like you can't, it's yeah. yeah I'm mean, like, I'm not an idiot. Like I'm fully aware. And like, Jolie and I was like, it's kind of it like, it like ripples through. It's like, you know, we were able to do this really successful launch party that we whipped together in three weeks. We got all these incredible brands. And I had this vision of bringing, you know, different Bravo people. We actually had um, Kyle's drink, Lover Boy. He was there and they were one of our like donations. And we had Adam Levine's tequila and like all these people. But I'm out there cold calling, reaching out, building it up. And I'm self-aware because I will be able to bring certain people to come to the event. And I had this whole vision. I'm like, Jolie, it's going to be amazing. It's going to be like Real Housewives of New York and New Jersey. And then it's going to be Summer House. And then we're going to be really positioned it as like a, a Bravo. We It was a Batch Boss event. But I think like Avery's saying, like a lot of the really sick sponsors that we got um, and donations were because of who was going to be there. And like us being able to curate such a VIP guest list is obviously due to some of those connections, right? Um, so I think like that's really where they came into play. But other than that, like like Avery said, it was hard work getting those go- those partners. I mean, we were cold emailing and cold calling and messaging and like it was a process to secure some of those donations for sure. Yeah, it's like an and actual- we physically- We physically did the event. Like we stuffed 150 goodie bags. We physically carried the boxes. Like, you know, we were our own task grab. Oh my God. We were literally spitzing. We were like hiring Uber drivers to try and load the car and schlepping them up the stairs in the venue. It was a disaster. My dad built the step and repeat. And then we got so many trolls commenting, like, why is the step and repeat wrinkly? And I was like, okay, try having your middle-aged dad build the step and repeat. Like, at least he did it. We didn't pay a task rabbit. Yeah. We're we're saving money where we can. Yeah. I thought it looked great. I mean, again, I was, I was invited to go, I think like through being Bravo media, like, but I just, I couldn't attend, but it looked great. I was like, this looks like a fun event. I saw it. I think I saw on your Instagram or Ramona's that bags were being stuffed by you guys. So I was like, oh, yeah. You mentioned Avery, and I guess this is for you too, Jolie. Like, you don't watch reality. Like, do you watch any reality TV? Like, are you aware of like what's going on with the scandal with like Tom and Ariana and Raquel? Like, are you up on your Vanderpump rules or are you not? I am because I watch Vanderpump rules. I never think has watched Bravo a day in her life. Like, yeah. I genuinely don't. Like, I've never yeah. seen, but like, I know some of them, and I say hello when I like, I know Hannah Burner personally, and I recognize her when I saw her at South by in Austin.